see the sunset, the day is ending. Let that yawn out. There's no pretending. All right, y'all. So, you already know it's AGP here. And, you know, more Death Stranding news, of course, because that's that's what we do here. We're waiting. We only got three more weeks until launch, which is November 8th. You know, tomorrow is launch for Call of Duty. So, I'm going to be playing that. I've probably said that in about half these Death Stranding videos because that's the other game I'm super excited for. And then the beginning of next year is going to be insane with all the other games coming out. But that's neither here nor there. Point is, we got three weeks out uh, from Death Stranding and... You know, we have a track list, 29 songs, that um, I'm going to talk about a little later in the video. And um, the, uh, and really, I was going to touch on a couple other things earlier in this video, meaning now. So <laughs> that would be, the first thing is that Kojima has already pretty much said that the launch trailer for the game is finished. Um, now, if y'all check out my last video, I told y'all about the embargo being lifted. You've probably seen it a bunch of places, but the embargo on reviews being lifted on November 1st. So that is even less than three weeks, or it's still, you know, technically in the same week, kind of, but, you know, much earlier on. So really, that's probably not even. That's probably about a week or two from now. So that is when the embargo will be lifted i talked about it in my last video is death Stranding too big to fail you guys should definitely go check that out um and also you know if you want to join the agp family we're almost at 60 subs you know it's not a whole lot but everything's a milestone and we get in there um so you know if you like this video like comment and subscribe you feel me and hit the bell if you want to see more of these videos i can't wait till november 8th because then i can actually put gameplay of death Stranding on here and it'll start my gameplay, not debut on this channel, but you know, essentially we're one where I can really follow it and go on. But, so the launch trailer is um, expected to come out the same day the game comes out, or at least the day before or something like that. So it'll be even after the review, the reviews drop from all the big companies that we're used to seeing. Uh, being Destructoid and, and Metacritic and IGN and Game Informer, GameSpot. You know, all those, all those. Just a little brief overview of Too Big to Fail. I was just talking about how, like, it seems like it's crazy because most embargoes are lifted much closer to the release date. Like, basically the day of the release date. Some aren't even lifted until the day after the release date, you know, of a game. So that people don't see it and jump to conclusions and decide not to buy it when they're on the fence. But they put it out, they're lifting the embargo a week before it comes out, which means they must be very confident in this game, meaning Kojima and Kojima Productions and Sony, they're all very, very confident on this game and its success, and so am I. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was watching another video recently, and they were talking about somebody, this is a Brazilian reviewer who kind of slipped up a little, if you want to call it slipped up, but he basically said that it was the best game he's ever played or one of the best games he's ever played and that it's just it's it's mostly for hardcore gamers but that it, you know it, it, it that he, well he thinks it's mostly for hardcore gamers now personally i want to just say that i feel like the game is going to be amazing and if it is for hardcore gamers i want people out there who 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 think who don't feel like they're hardcore gamers it shouldn't stop you from buying the game essentially it seems as though you know it could be for both which is why Kojima implemented the very easy mode and stuff. It shouldn't be something that you overthink at all because the point of the game is to get the experience. Who cares if it's very easy mode or super hard mode? It doesn't matter. It's whatever you do. You paid the 60, 60 plus to, to get the game so you enjoy it how you want to enjoy it. Um, so you do what you want with it and I feel like everybody who is on the fence should get it just to see if they like it and you know, technically you can always return it. But I feel like I'm the kind of person who feels like when you listen to music, when it comes to art, right? Music, whether it's an album or whether it's a movie or, you know, whether it's a book or a comic, you need to read it or watch it more than once to really analyze it. But that's only if you're interested in analyzing it. You obviously don't have to be. You could just take it at face value. I just feel like games like Death Stranding and Kojima in general, taking things at face value is a little harder because... He's made a point to say that there, there's meanings, you know, there's a lot of metaphors and entendres and things, you know, but that's cool or whatever. So that's that. The launch trailer is going to come out the same day as the game, November 8th. The title screen 
We've gotten screenshots of the title screen from Reddit, uh, just like we got a couple of spoilers that I actually put in my last video. It was really just one spoiler that gives a little bit of an overview of the plot, but you don't have to see. You can watch the whole video and not see it. I put it right at the end um, where I, you know, I, I was I was going into another dance video and I cut in the middle of it just to say, and I gave you a spoiler alert. So if you don't want to watch that, you don't have to see the spoiler, but you should still check out the rest of the video because it's about 13 minutes. Um, but yeah, so, you know, but Reddit, obviously they've already been big on these leaks. They do that every year or, you know, for bet for many games. Um, they gave us a leak of the screenshot of the title screen, which is lit. That's going to be exciting. Um, it's basically just the beach, the, you know, the beach whales being stranded on that. It's a picture that I'm going to show you here that yeah so we've all seen that picture it happens to be the title screen um apparently there was also a leaked screenshot of the controls but i haven't been able to find that so i apologize for not being able to put it up here now for you um, if i find it i'll put it up but i'm not sure i will be able to um so that's that now to get into you know the last part of the video which really is just the track list there's 29 songs on it um it's called the timefall track list or playlist, which is dope. So it's songs inspired by all the artists who made music for Death Stranding. Most of which are original projects. They're not songs that people got from albums, you know, that people have already made and they just put it on there. They have made these songs for Death Stranding specifically. It sounds like a lot of them did. Um, there's a lot of artists on it. I'm gonna tell you who those artists are. I'm gonna use my phone because I don't remember all the artists that are on it. Uh, so give me a sec, you feel me? All right, y'all. So here's my phone. I got my phone. So some of the artists that are gonna be on it are gonna be Khalid. They're gonna be Serviches, which I believe they said is a Swedish musical group. I'm gonna check that just to make sure I'm not lying. My bad, y'all. I meant to say Scottish group. Scottish, not Swedish. Scottish. My fault. That was that was that was an accident. I just I remembered the S, and then. Anyways, yeah, um, <laughs> I think that's what they said. Um, well, I, I haven't heard of them much, but Apocalyptica, um, there's going to be The Neighborhood. I don't know them really much either, but a couple of the other people are Sasha Sloan, uh, Low Roar, Martin Gatrix, DJ Laser, the SLP. You know, there's a lot of them. Um, if you are fans of any of these people, that's lit. Um you you will be happy to see that they are on this but like i said that track list is on spotify or i didn't say that that track list is on spotify it's called the time for a playlist so if you guys want to hear that music before the release you can um it's not going to include all the music in death stranding there will be more music and i think there's there, that they said there's going to be another track list or playlist that's going to come out um you know after launch that probably has all of the music on it, which is lit. Um, so that's what's up. But that's really just why I wanted to come here and give y'all a little quick video of, you know, what, what we've been hearing about recently. Um, three weeks, y'all. That's what we got. Three weeks. Don't forget to check out the last video. Fix this camera. Um, and also, you know, check out some of the other ones. You know, Understanding Just Stranding, the ones I put up. You can check out the reactions to the 15 and 30 minute gameplay. Um, you know, so... But I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. All right? um, still let me know what kind of things you want to see when the game comes out. Highlight videos, walkthrough, or live streams. I got a little feedback uh, for highlight videos. So you should just let me know if you want to see and that. You every step um, of the way. And, you know, we'll figure out what we're going to do. We can do a few of the things. Um, but, but either way, it'll be lit. So... I'm gonna catch you next time. What.